This is Mark and Charity's Coffee Podcast. Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast, Thursday, August the 10th today. It is Miracle Treat Day today with uh, Dairy Queen. Ice cream, not just for breakfast. You know, you can have it other times. And breakfast is good, though. It's a dairy product, so it's it's not the best breakfast, but it's, it's great bounce of the day, I'll tell you that. Thank you very much for the blizzards today. Blizzard treats here in Belleville and Trenton. All money going to Sick Kids Hospitals on Miracle Treat Day today. Get out there and cool off and help the kids, all right? Thank you for dropping those off today. On the show this morning, uh, we had a couple of guests after the show I want to share with you and then uh, feature them on the show this uh, tomorrow morning. And that is a board chair, Jeffrey Cudmore. I've known uh, Mr. Cudmore from his uh, many years as dean of uh, broadcast at uh, Loyalist College. So he and I have met up a number of times. Um, he's very much committed to, to education and students' well-being, so it doesn't surprise me to find out in his quote-unquote retirement, where I'm sure he's working harder now than he ever has, right? Give, all, give busy people stuff to do when they're volunteering. He's one of those guys. Um, that he would be the board chair for the Learning Foundation. Takes what he knew and is working and is now using it to volunteer and keep making lives better for kids, which is great. And uh, Kelly Brace, the general manager of the Learning Foundation, they're both uh, in the studio to talk about their upcoming golf tournament. Now, golf tournaments are great fundraisers. We all know that, and there are many. And they raise a lot of money for a lot of different things, and they're all very good. Some hit closer to home only because they can help virtually anybody at any time. You may not think that you're in a position to need help from the Learning Foundation until you do. And that's what their Student Emergency Fund is all about, and that's what this golf tournament aims to raise money for. Jeffrey Cudmore and Kelly Brace on the podcast today. Your opportunity for your last bit of back-to-school shopping is to help all the kids. And you won't hear this anywhere else but here. Go play some golf. Learning Foundation Golf Tournament is coming up just ahead of the first day of school on August 29th. Kelly Brace, General Manager of the Learning Foundation and uh, Board Chair Jeffrey Cudmore joins us this morning. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you very much, Mark. Great to be here. Thanks, Mark. All kinds of golfing's been going on this summer, but you saved the best one that helps the most kids for last. Tell us about the Foundation Golf Tournament, Kelly. Well, this is the 20th year for our golf tournament, and it is a fundraiser to support the Learning Foundation Student Emergency Fund. So going back to school, as you mentioned, Mark, is is right around the corner. And, and we're thinking about those those students who might just need a little bit of extra support to succeed in school. And the golf tournament helps us raise money to, to meet the needs of those kids as they walk through the door on the first day of school. Yeah, and of course it expands well beyond that. There are programs and ways to help kids all year round. Absolutely, absolutely. This this program starts day one, and uh, we get requests for support right through the school year, right through the end of June. Now, the golf tournament, uh, Jeff, that raises a lot of money from a board standpoint, is just a percentage of all the money needed. Uh, uh, how important is it in the overall fundraising? Well, in terms of the Student Emergency Fund, uh, this is our major, this is the major source of funds. So um, we give out in the neighborhood of thirty-five, forty-five thousand dollars a year to to students in need and their and their families, and um, this this golf tournament is where that money comes from. So we really need uh, the Quinty region and and you know this whole area to to join us for a, for a you know a wonderful day of golf. But also, there's a really strong purpose to this. You know when you think of when you think of the kinds of emergencies that our students face during the year and and you know we've things like medical travel um things like students coming to school hungry because there's no food in the house because there's been a you know an, a, a family member laid off or a, a, you know again a, a, some sort of a disaster i mean we've had you know fa- families that have had to face fires and, mm-hmm. and have lost everything so um you know and and so it's really important that that uh, that we have the funds to be able to f- support the uh, these HPDSB students. Learning Foundation Golf Tournament coming up at Oak Hills on Tuesday, August 29th. Kelly Brace, General Manager. How do we sign up? 
Well, it's really easy uh, to mark uh, through Jeff and I. You can you can email us or you can go to the Learning Foundation website, hpelearningfoundation.ca, um, or you can reach us at 966-1170. 10 o'clock, tee off times, and then Jeff, they go all day. Yes, so so instead of having like a shotgun start, like, right. like some, it's funny because COVID kind of introduced a, a whole new method of doing these golf tournaments where instead of having, a, you know, a, everyone shows up at the same time and you do the golf tournament, They've been during COVID. We started to do this. Everyone gets a tea time, and you just go. You know, you show up at ten and ten twenty and ten forty and whatever, <laughs> and you get to play and and you you play your golf and you have a, you know a chance to meet with people and things, and then you go home. And so it's it doesn't you know it doesn't tie up the whole day, um, and you're not getting into you know sort of the. Uh, the late night and the steak dinner and all the rest of that but we're going to have a nice lunch waiting for people and beverages available on the course and just everyone come out and have a have a nice day of golf i have foreseen sunny and 24 degrees is that all right that's That'll what i've do. seen for two especially out there there's not a lot of trees <laughs> at oak hills some of the hottest tournaments i've ever been to is at, uh, at oak hills so uh kelly congratulations on a, on a great golf tournament coming up and and final thoughts once again as kids head back to school and the important part that the learning foundation plays in the lives of children in our area well, I, you know, I think uh, when you think about the, the, the challenges that students face on a day-to-day -day basis, um, some more than others, and we want to set those conditions for learning. We want to make sure we're meeting the needs of the students where they are, um, whether it's with, with food, winter coats, um, eyeglasses, whatever they might need so that they're successful in the classroom. And Jeff, you know, you and I know each other because of your background at Loyalist College. You've come at it from an education side. You've seen kids throughout their entire careers of learning. And yet, what is it about the Learning Foundation that you want to keep giving back to the education and the kids? Well, it's it's such a it's such a um, I don't know. It's it's so great to see the 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 impact that things like food for learning, things like the student nutrition pantries, things like student emergency fund can have on, on, on the day-to-day -day life of the students in the school board. And I mean, we get messages from principals, we get messages from families saying, you know, if this, if this hadn't been available to us, I don't know what we would have done, you know? Um, some desperate situations. And, and what's really great about the student emergency fund is that it's, it's it's simple the principal identifies a student in need and we're able to respond you know virtually immediately it's not something well two weeks later you know the mm -hmm. checks in the mail no we're able to provide that support immediately and and you know the principals across the board do a fabulous job they know their students they know you know they can see someone who's suffering they can see someone who's in need and they're able to provide that support right away and it's so important kelly brace jeffrey cudmore of the learning foundation thank you so much sign up again through their website the golf tournament coming up tuesday august 29th just ahead of the first day of school thank you both for coming in appreciate it it's a pleasure mark thank you so much never know when you'll need the great services of the learning foundation go back to that thing my dad always told me i'll never forget it he passed away at the age of 92, 10 years ago, always drink the well before you're thirsty. No, Dad, I'm going to wait until I'm thirsty, then dig. Too late. You want to make sure that if anything happens to you and your family, that there's an organization that you help your kids at school. If you get laid off or if there's a fire, help the foundation now. Help them raise money now. Make donations now. That money will be there for you down the road. Dig the well before you're thirsty. Help the Learning Foundation because when you help a kid, that just that just blows up in ways you can't even imagine down the road with their education. So thank you so much. Sign up through their website and uh, take part in that. Week before the first day of school, play some golf. And as Jeff mentioned, it's, it's not one of those all-day affair golf tournaments. Uh, if you get a hole-in-one, you get to brag. Good for you. Have some fun. Raise some money and get the kids set to go back to school. So that's great. We really, really appreciate that. Another thing going on this weekend, Alex Gallagher, a regular on the show. He's one of our fun guys to get on here from Shannonville Motorsport Park. It is their Cart Stars 
Canada National Championship. When we were kids, didn't we all want to own go-karts and race like crazy? That's what's going on this weekend. Alex on the show tomorrow on the podcast today. So here we go. Big weekend, Alex, for the Car Stars Canadian National Championship. What's on store this weekend? Oh, my goodness. If you have not come out to see this national championship, you have been missing out for a very long time because this might be one of my favorite events of the year. I know I say it all the time, but this time <laughs> I truly am saying this is my favorite event of the year because you will see kids as young as five years old running around this track at high speeds in a go-kart And then you'll see people up to maybe in their 30s or 40s racing in completely separate classes, but they're all riding the same cart. How do you qualify to be a part of this? How do they get in there, these five-year-olds? You know, I think it's it's like, you know, Dad had a dream to be a race car driver, (laughs) and little Billy really loves racing too, so they're like, you know what? Let's have a team. Let's do this, you know? I used to race younger when I was younger, and I wanted to be a NASCAR driver really bad. So my dad was like, all right, hold your horses. Like, you know, go out and race carts. You know, it's a great way to, like, prove yourself before you take those next steps up to, like, um, sports car racing or, or F-1600s. Or, you know, if you want to be on the big track at Shannonville, you got to start right here. That's right. Alice Gallagher joins us for Shannonville Weekend. Uh, what are the hours and when should people be there? You know what? This is a longer event. So we'll have cars on track Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Saturday and Sunday, but the meat and potatoes, they say the fair is what this race is equivalently known as, will be on Saturday and Sunday. So our hours will be 9 o'clock to 5 p.m., uh, probably Friday to, Friday to um, Sunday. Tickets are $20, and they get you in for the whole weekend. 20 bucks for the whole weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Alex, best way to get them at the gate? Oh, yeah, at the gate. You're more than welcome to get them at the gate. Our lovely ticket staff will be there to greet you. But this is an event you're not going to want to miss. Card Stars Canada National Championship right here at Shannonville. Alex, thanks, man. Have a great weekend. Thank you. You too. Alex Gallagher, thank you so much for being on the show today. Tomorrow we'll have our final Connect 3 opportunity for you to qualify in the Summer of Fun Adventure Series. And that is package number four, brought to you by Kim's Secrets on North Front Street. We'll have a song for you right after the 8 o'clock news, one at 12.30 and one at 4.30. They'll be identified. And what will those three have in common? Get that figured out. Be the first one through with the right answer with Cole in the afternoon. Be the final qualifier tomorrow for the grand prize draw coming up on Monday when Charity gets back from vacation. We're going to hand out tickets to the Trilogy Tour when it stops in Toronto on October the 17th. Pitbull, Ricky Martin, and Enrique Iglesias are going to be there. Hence, Connect 3. Uh, Living La Vida Loca was our Throwback Thursday winner today on uh, on Thursday. So, nice work on that. Thanks for your votes. Your chance to qualify tomorrow. We'll have your dad joke. That's going to be up there as well tomorrow with uh, Galaxy of Games. And Jimmy Hollywood's going to take a day off. Guy's been running himself ragged. The only guy working in Hollywood these days, trying to find good stuff to dig up and talk about. It's taking its toll. So, he's going to take a day tomorrow and be back in again on Monday. Enjoy your day today. We'll talk to you tomorrow morning here on 95.5 Hits FM.